Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm done at Display Taiwan 2014, checking out displays of all kinds of shapes and sizes. The first one I'm going to look at actually isn't really much of a display at all. It's a biometric access control identification system. So this is a 1080p display that has a scan pixel density of 508. It can detect 256 levels of gray, and it can support multi-finger image capture. And what makes this kind of neat is if you put your fingers on and one's kind of on the edge so it's not the entire finger, it can still authenticate you based on the level of detail that it offers. Also at AUO, a 1.6 inch touch AMOLED display, resolution of 320 by 320 and supports three point multi-touch. Down at CPT, we have a few different transparent displays for portable devices. So the 4.7 inch on the left there is aimed at smartphones. We have an 11.4 inch, and there's also a nine inch tablet. These will need a mechanical casing, so some sort of uh, support system around them. What's kind of cool is that the display uses the ambient light around it to illuminate the display. So the display should always be brighter than the room that it's in. That's why we have the lights behind it, kind of capturing the light and transmitting it out. So back in January, Corning Gorilla Glass actually released a antibacterial display. So they were doing a demo at Display Taiwan. So they swabbed my phone and then they put it into this, this bacteria analysis machine. The guy before me scored 29. 29 bacteria on his phone. My phone is the dirtiest phone they've seen to date with 471. One of the highlights of the show was definitely at the eTree booth. This is a tri-foldable display. So think of a smartphone folding out into a tablet. Now the display, now the AMOLED display itself is not much to look at, but think about the patent that goes into the surrounding of the AMOLED display so that the encasing is able to do 10,000 folds. Here we have a single foldable display where the outside of the device would have the display and then this one is more like traditional, like a book, so it would fold out. Here's a novel idea for a curved display, a slot machine. And air bonding was something that I learned about at Display Taiwan. So instead of using a material to bond the touch layer to the glass, there's actually just bonding around the edges, making, well, the display cheaper to make because you're using less materials. Uh, the downside is it's less bright. So I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at some pretty neat stuff at Display Taiwan 2014. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Oh, <laughs>